so I was on the road for around just under five months. Um, I left the start of May um, from my home here in England. Uh, rode down France. Bonjour. Did a bit of a dog leg through the Pyrenees, through Andorra. This is Andorra here, and this is Spain. Uh, back into Spain. I'm in the middle of nowhere. Uh, towards Girona. Just in a tree. Flew from Barcelona to New York. Then across the, uh, the centre of Canada. Breaking news, I have a slight corner. Um, to the Rockies. Good morning. Across the Rockies. And then down. Highway 1, California. Into Mexico. So a long trip is something I've always wanted to do. Uh, ever since I kind of got into the, the, the longer distance racing and touring side of things. But I always had this little thing in my head that I wanted to kind of ride around the world. Although I don't think that in itself was the goal when I set out. So when I left I'd only done a two or three month journey so I didn't really know what to expect for a longer distance. I guess more of the same but after that it's kind of going into an unknown. It becomes more of a, a way of life rather than a trip. Um, so that was something I was unsure about. Um, but you know, that's why I do it. When you're on the road, it's, you, can't, you can't plan too much. The, the key is to have a kind of a rough idea um, of where you want to be roughly, and then just go with the flow because things change. And also you just don't know how you're going to feel each day. You know, there's, there's so many un unpredictable things that can happen. One day I ended up running through a forest fire, and had I been a day slower I could have been delayed for a whole week and then you know you just can't plan for stuff like that. Before I left I didn't even think about earthquakes and typhoons in Mexico but but that became quite quite a big issue. And there was three in the space of a month and two massive typhoons on the east of the country so you just can't plan for stuff like that and well you have to be prepared to change your plan and not get upset if it doesn't go exactly the way you think it's going to go to start with. But that's part of traveling as well as seeing all these countries and cultures in amazing places, um, I guess you find more out about yourself. Um, and I think the longer you're away, and when there's no kind of set end date as such, I think you then you then kind of uh, explore other sectors of your of your psyche and your mind that you didn't necessarily explore before. I can read all the books and talk to all the people I want, but until I've been there and experienced it, I don't know how it's going to work. If you knew what exactly what it was going to be like before you left, then um, there wouldn't be much point in going really.